Egypt has long relied on tourism to drive its economy, with millions of visitors from around the world arriving every year to seek out its ancient monuments, desert oases, and seaside resorts. But the industry took a hit following the Egyptian revolution in January. Although visitors are starting to come back, those who depend on tourism to make a living are having a hard time making ends meet. FSRN's Rami al Magari is in Cairo and filed this report. In Cairo's historic Khan al Khalili Bazaar, 36 year old vendor Wala Mustafa sits idle in front of his newly erected accessories stand. Last year, Mustafa managed the largest silver accessories store in the neighborhood. But when business came to a halt during the revolution, he was fired. There is a very big difference in business. There's no comparison at all between now and before. For the time being, there is nothing. I can say it's zero. That's all. As you see here, there are many shops. For the moment, only one or two groups of foreign tourists, about 100 of them, come over here on daily basis from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., and only 20 to 25 of them buy things. And this is not enough. Cairo has long been a destination for tourists from Europe and rich Arab Gulf countries, and hotels and restaurants served millions each month in 2010. According to the Egyptian Tourism Authority, Occupancy rates in Egypt have risen from 12% in February to just over 40% in June. But rental property owner Mervet Ibrahim says she is not seeing the rebound. Frankly, for me, the revolution was rather a nightmare, not a revolution. Can you imagine? The apartment that I used to rent for $50 a day for an Arab visitor and $100 a day for a foreign visitor, I now rent it for less than $40. During this season, some of my Arab clients phoned me and I expected they would come, but it turned out that they only said hi, adding that they are not coming out of fear of what they said is the chaotic situation here. But not all have the same perspective including citizen Maryam Ghanaji, who came to Cairo with her children and parents for a short vacation. Uh, we had to come next, uh, past February, but with the revolution we post-date the vacation. We thought there was no danger and we decided to come. But even as some tourists are starting to return, investment consultant and revolution activist Tariq Salama wants to see changes to restore confidence in the tourism industry. And I think that security in Egypt is not sufficiently handled uh, or properly handled by the actual interim government nor by uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, military council. I think the framework of investment uh, generally speaking, was under control of uh, some people that were uh, uh, more, uh, uh, how can I say it, uh, that were corrupted. And so now after the revolution, because nothing can be now kept uh, secret or uh, behind closed door, so the whole framework of the tourism investment collapsed in Egypt. According to AFP, more than two and a half million people visited Egypt in the third quarter an increase of about 23%. But total figures for this year are on track to fall short of 2010. Rami Al-Mirari, Free Speech Radio News, Cairo.